Hey, hey everyone, Colorpix here, and today I thought I would show you um, a bit of progress update with this uh, rhinestone cottage, Kincaid cottage, and work on it a little bit with you because I only have uh, basically just this column left here. So it's almost done, and yeah, <laughs> I thought it would be a good time to work on it. So some stats on this one, really quick stats. Uh, it is 80 by 45 centimeters, and I'm kind of surprised I can fit it in the whole frame, but I've been working hard on that. And uh, it is a full drill, full rhinestone piece. So it's complete coverage, and they're all rhinestones except for 310, which I think is the case in most kits, most rhinestone kits. Um, I want to say it's a little hard to see because it's so reflective. I don't want to say it's shiny or sparkly because I don't feel that it is. <laughs> but it is very reflective and you would think that would equate to shiny. But yeah, when I'm done, I will explain all of the uh, problems that I've had with this particular kit my you know positive points and my negative points and so forth but yeah just want to show you where i'm at with this i will be finished with this really soon this will be one of my march finishes but yeah it's been very interesting to work on so far the joy of diamond painting still applies so <laughs> it's okay but yeah i just have this column left so i'm gonna get working on it I do find that I need to use a light box, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on now. I think I am. Yep, there we go. Alright, so, um, yeah, I've just been kind of going, you know, full force on this one just to kind of get it done. Like, I uncover a huge spot and, you know, kind of work on a large area, which actually isn't too it's not my common style for working on diamond painting I do smaller sections but with this one I'm just like whatever <laughs> I am pleased to announce that whilst it didn't I couldn't use the three placer with this kit for some reason I can use my two placer so that has helped speed things up just a little bit yeah let me get my diamonds out there are 30 colors so there's quite a huge variety but they're not nice colors i must say but yeah um, uh, this is not gonna be a video of me just complaining the whole time so <laughs> as much as i'd like to it, that won't be the case i promise you this would be slightly more enjoyable than that <laughs> But yeah, I hope that you've got some sort of kit or project that you're working on and you can break that out and work on yours with me at the same time. I find, you know, I think that's why those uh, stitch and bitch clubs are quite fun because it's fun to do a craft while someone else is there and to chat with someone. So I think that is cool and what I like to do as well and so listening to someone while on YouTube is quite I don't know entertaining fun relaxing <laughs> all of the above but yeah please join me let's craft together there's also nothing like crafting with someone who enjoys the same craft as you do because you feel like you've got some sort of, like you can relate to each other and it's just phenomenal. I am a bit slower on this kit, I find, but not enough for it to be any real problem. <laughs> it's slower because they, these diamonds just don't want to stick sometimes. So I have to, like I'll pick up my pen and find out that the diamond is still you know attached to the tip and I'm like okay try again but press harder 
So sometimes I forget that if I haven't been working on it, you know, for a little while. Okay, you're going to be a problem there. Put you here. But yeah. And then I remember, and then I'm pressing hard the whole time. Straining my wrist and my hands, of course. <laughs> nah, I try not to let it get too bad. Yeah, I'm going to have some real opinions about this piece <laughs> when I'm finished. I have issues with this piece. But the cool thing about it, even with all the issues, is that I will actually have a finished product, I think. I should probably hold off because it'll be my luck that in this last little bit, I'll run out of rhinestones or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, despite all of that, I'm still... Despite all of the issues with this, I'm still able to enjoy it as a diamond painting because I really enjoy the craft, even if the final product isn't mm, pretty, I know that I did my best and that the fact that it's not pretty isn't my fault, <laughs> my lack of talent. <laughs> So I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. But it will be nice to go ahead and finish something else off this year. I feel so proud. <laughs> I'm really getting a lot of use out of my light box with this one. Like the last time I used the light box was with Alice, I believe. I believe. Can't really remember. But yeah, Alice required a light box because she had a lot of dark colors. And that was my... Light boxes are phenomenal. I mean, I feel that every diamond painter must have a light box. And they're so cheap these days that, you know, it's worth... It's really not hard to get, I feel. You do have to do a little bit of shopping and make sure you don't get, like, a dud. Try to find, like... A more respectable company or a listing that has a lot of reviews you know stuff like that but yeah I'm actually pretty pleased with this light box I got it off of eBay uh, last year and I let my mom use it quite a bit before she got her own and it's still going strong. I'm actually quite pleased with this purchase. And it was about 20 Australian dollars. So not too bad at all. Cheaper than all my diamond paintings, really. So it's definitely worth having. I haven't purchased any new diamond paintings, but I really want to. <laughs> but I'm really trying to be strict with it because I have so many that I purchased from last year that I haven't even like looked at let alone completed so once I you know clear up my stash then maybe I can order some more diamond paintings I really do like a lot of the um, diamond art club paintings they're so beautiful but they are um more on the expensive side like I can't just buy it on a whim like I do have to plan it and then I was like well you shouldn't be buying diamond paintings anyway so whilst I want to I've kind of put that on the back burner like a lower priority at the moment Actually, I haven't even double-checked if they ship to Australia. I think they do. I think they offer um, worldwide shipping, but I'm actually not too sure. But, yeah, seeing everyone do them. Ah, pangs of jealousy. <laughs> Has everyone tried a Diamond Art Club kit yet? So 
sorry, catching a bit of a cold. The weather's been really funky here. I'm always talking about the weather. <laughs> um, it's been, it's cooled off quite a bit. It's been quite chill. Um, pleasant, but yeah, a little chilly. Um, although last week, like the week before, it was really hot. And then the week after that, it got really chilly. And so, you know, prime conditions for getting sick. So I really need to kind of be careful with that. But I think I've got the sniffles anyways. <laughs> but hopefully nothing more serious than that. I've been trying to make sure that, you know, I eat all my fruits and vegetables, even though it's hard sometimes. <laughs> But I have been eating more salads and putting my Laurie seasoning salt on it. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Best time ever. I have some colors in this kit that are just... Um, I feel like I've only got 20 diamonds left. And I still have so much more space to go. And I'm slightly worried, but I probably am worrying needlessly. And then that will be like a plus point on this kit is that I received, you know, the correct amount of diamonds. So we'll see. We'll see. I have a couple of other full rhinestone pieces, but this kind of, it's kind of sad, but this kind of makes me not want to do them. <laughs> But I shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't judge them all by this one. Or else, like if we all did that, I don't think we would be diamond painting. Because <laughs> there are um, quite a few horrible kids out there. And luckily people have either, you know, ditched them or completed them. Like, you know, worked their magical, you know, fixes and were able to complete these kits. So yeah, I won't let that, I won't be a judge just yet. I'll still give it a try. But I've got a full rhinestone peacock piece. I want to say I'm itching to do it, but I'm actually not. Not after this one. But of course, I do want to complete that at some point. <laughs> I still think my next diamond painting, um... I want to say after the Great Wall, but I have a feeling I'm going to start it before I finish that. Oh no, I'll control myself. <laughs> um, but I think it'll be my Disney's Alice um, custom that I got from Huacan. And I want to show you guys quickly what um, the diamonds look like before and the replacement diamonds. Because, yeah, we all know Huacan had issues, but they're trying to resolve them, which is very noble of that company. They could have just let it go. But um, I feel that it was very good of them to try to fix all of the um, kits that were purchased during that era of time. That, I, don't, I, don't, I still don't even know what happened. They had faulty machinery or just a huge batch of bad diamonds. <laughs> I don't know, it was kind of a, a weird thing, but... Yeah, they're trying to do the right thing and fix all of the orders. They're not going back and contacting everyone. But if you contact them, uh, they seem to be willing to replace the diamonds without much hassle. So that's pretty good. And no extra fee. So I say if you purchased um, any can customs well I might it might not even just be customs but if you purchased any huacan kits last year like late last year check your diamonds make sure they're okay and if not please go ahead and contact them as soon as possible because I don't know how long they're gonna try and you know be good and replace stuff <laughs> My question for you in this video, big question, <laughs> is when you get a dodgy kit, like really crappy, missing diamonds, the 
canvas is crap, you know, just so many things wrong with it. Will you just get rid of it? Like just pretty much toss it or will you do everything in your power to try and fix it even though that's a lot of time and energy and say this is only like a $10 diamond painting. It's missing diamonds, the canvas is crap, the symbols are crap. You know, what do you do? Do you continue to fight for this piece even though you only spent $10 on it? Or do you just like give up, let it go and take the $10 loss? Please let me know in the comments below which route you would go to. Okay, I feel like I've laid down a lot of diamonds, but I've only worked on two colors. <laughs> and it's already like almost 20 minutes into the video, maybe? No, I can't tell. I think it's maybe only 12 minutes. So we're definitely going to keep going for a little while here. <laughs> but I feel like I've laid down quite a bit. But there's lots of... Mm, not quite confetti, but it's very all over the place this particular diamond painting so I don't worry too much when I miss a diamond like if I see that I missed a diamond while working on another color I will not go back and f fill in that one hole I'll just wait till it comes up next in line because I could have missed more than just one so <laughs> that happens to me quite often Although, that's just this piece. Like, this piece breaks all my diamond painting rules, I feel. On the great wall, I will go ahead and fill in any gaps as soon as possible. Because I want that baby to be as perfect as possible. But, I mean, the canvas is so easy to read. That actually doesn't happen too often. There is one color that I have trouble reading. And that's the number nine color. I'll definitely point it out when I finish, but you know, that, that's okay. I can deal with that. The canvas is so great, you know, for the rest of the 98% of it, 99% of it that I can overlook that. So that's okay. You know what else I like about this two-placer tip? It really lines up the diamonds very well by itself. Like I could have um, two diamonds on the tray that are kind of, you know, they're not exactly next to each other, but it will pick them both up and line them up when you've got them on the pin. And I think that's awesome. I enjoy that thoroughly. <laughs> Not that it really makes my life any easier, but it's it's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> and because it's just like, you know, a single tip, it's very easy to load <laughs> with um the wax. Okay. Yeah, okay. I won't complain about this one, but yeah, just working on it. I just see so many, you know, of the problems that I've been having. So, <laughs> um, I had mentioned in some previous videos of this uh, particular diamond painting that I will not be putting the link um, to where I purchased it because of the quality of this kit. But if you are okay, once I, you know, do my full review, um, if you still want the link, I will, I am more than happy to provide it to you. So just, you know, leave a comment below and I will get that to you. Not a problem. Just beware. <laughs> I 
I want to say that um, <clears throat> because there's a lot of companies now not based in China, um, the quality of diamond paintings overall is increasing. I That could be totally false, but from what I've been seeing and hearing, that seems to be the case. You, know, you guys can let me know what you think, but um, we have quite a few good companies like in the States that are making their own diamond paintings and they are taking care. Now, whilst these uh, diamond painting kits are of great quality, that does of course mean, you know, higher end price. And I, I understand that DIY Moon, um, their kits have all been great as well, even though um, they're still outsourced, but um, they go through their kits to make sure that they're quality before they're sent out to their customers. So I think that's quite nice, but that is also a lot of extra work, which, you know, increases the price. So, But on the other hand, they deal with all the hassle of going back to the seller and whatnot for you. So some people are more than willing to pay for that convenience. So it's like you pay extra to not have to deal with that. And for a great kit. So I can totally understand that. I understand why they're more expensive. This kit was on the cheaper end. Even to be so big. I think it was around $20 Australian for me. Which is pretty decent. <laughs> for such a large canvas. I think anyways. <laughs> for everyone who is getting into beaded cross stitch I am doing some research for you guys um, I understand people are having trouble finding kits and finding good kits and whatnot so I will do some research um, to see what I can find and then I'll do a video on it to help you guys out Hopefully I can find some good um, links for you um, where you can purchase some really nice kits and not just like one link to one image because that would be boring. But I will try to find some smaller ones, some smaller eight o'clock ones and you know, see how we go. I understand that a lot of the smaller beaded cross stitch kits don't come on eight o'clock. They come on some sort of like weird canvas where you have to poke the holes yourself. And yeah, I can imagine. I didn't know it would be hard or anything, but I can imagine it'd be not as easy as using eight o'clock and not as clean. But yeah, I'll see what I can find and I will definitely do a video for you guys. Because beaded cross stitch, whilst tedious, it's actually pretty fun. But I mean, if you're diamond painting, I think you can handle tedious crafts. <laughs> uh, sometimes I can't tell the difference between K and H. Just saying. This kit is a lot more slower going as well. But yeah. Come on, don't I won't complain. <laughs> I have to keep reminding myself that this is not the video for the complaints of this kit. Let's have a happy day. <laughs> the fact that you are and can diamond paint is a good day. <laughs> I really do still enjoy diamond painting, even though I've been doing it for over a year now. In fact, I'll, I'll put a link to my very first diamond painting, the waterfall. I'll put it up here right now. And yeah, you can have a look. <laughs> it's one of my first videos. Slightly embarrassing at this point in time, but you know, I'm still proud of where I started 
and my progress up until this day. So that's all right. I enjoy that. <laughs> Reminds me of my humble beginnings, hopefully. But yeah, the waterfall was my very first one and it I just fell in love with diamond painting with that one. So, And I actually got that one off of Wish, believe it or not. <laughs> and I feel like I got really lucky because I've heard Wish horror stories. So. Alright, I think that's enough of that one. Alright, we'll work on one more color and then I think it'll be quitting time. This tray has been working out pretty well. Um, I found out I had to learn how to use it a little bit, but you know, like with anything I feel, that's okay. But once you learn how to use it, it's it works like a charm. So I think this was a good buy, a very good um, purchase. And same with this uh, two-placer pin. I thought I had, you know, <laughs> I was going to accept it as a lost at the start. But with the mod, it's pretty good. Um, I, it's a good purchase, I guess. Disappointing that I had to mod it, that it wasn't ready to go out of the box. Like it didn't meet my needs out of the box. But you can't expect that from everything, I guess. So that's all right. Good enough. It, it was at least able to be fixed. So that's all that matters, really. Okay. Having some troubles to stick down. But yeah. It's so relaxing, diamond painting. I'm going to finish up here and then... I'm going to put on some music, maybe continue a little bit. So my next video, um, this will be complete. And I will explain, yeah, the good points and the bad points <laughs> about this particular kit. So look out for that. Please uh, click subscribe and the notification bell. So that way, when I do publish that video, you're actually notified of that. Um, yeah, so then you can see, you know, all the points, all my opinions about this I'm painting for yourself at that time. And then if you want to go ahead and buy that, you still can. Or at least you know what to look out for in some other diamond paintings. But yeah, I'm going to give it up here. <laughs> I say that as I continue to diamond paint. But yes, I'm going to stop this episode here. <laughs> I hope that you have all enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I look forward to reading them. I enjoy reading them and answering them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.